So we're at the Brentwood Goodwill. Beth contacted me and asked me to help her pick out some materials and stuff for this puppet show for the Imagination Learning Center's carnival that's happening. We should we decorate. Little, we should make little mini divas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They offer affordable daycare to anyone, which is incredible. I know how expensive daycare is, so for people to have that available to them is pretty incredible. Okay, so where are we headed? Back to the... So we're going to the children's section first. Okay. I figure we'll find the brightest colors and little animals and stuff like that. Fun! Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe I can find stuff for the baby, too, while we're at it. Maybe so! <laughs> I can't actually be there for the carnival on Friday. That's a big part of why I asked Susanna to help, besides her incredible fashion sense and creativity. Um, so I decided on a pattern that's going to be really simple for pretty much anyone to do. You know, and we can take these really simple designs and just build cute things on them. Yeah, totally. Oh, this is awesome. So I think she's going to want me to help her sew these puppets. So that'll be interesting, because I don't know how to sew at all. Jenny did help me sew a straight line. so. If these puppets are gonna all have straight lines, then I should be fine. Let's see what we find. I always like to look at pants because there's a lot oh. of fabric involved in pants. Oh, yeah, I guess I never would have thought about pants. I'm looking as much as I can for stretch fabrics. Oh, okay. um, Because those will be easiest to manipulate as puppets. Yeah. Oh, pull those out. Okay. Stuff like camouflage can be really cool Ooh, too. We could make an army puppet. Yeah, yeah. Or we can even just puppet. make like a chameleon, and that's a oh, creative way of showing yeah. like he's a chameleon. He's oh, got camouflage. Yeah, yeah. That that's cute. I like yeah. that. And maybe we could even look for something like sequiny for like you know how chameleons are kind of shimmer, like their scales. Yeah, kind of yeah. We could do sequins for scales. That'd be cute. Yeah. I'm looking for interesting patterns, looking for cute buttons um, and fun accessories to put on things. If there's lace trim, things like that, we can make cute little details. Look what I found. Oh, it's gonna cute. be perfect. So what will, you, what will you do with this? Well, we'll actually kind Disassemble of harvest her. the hair and harvest eyes. Harvest the hair. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I know, I was just looking through, because I know you said like stretchy stuff. Look. Sequins. Oh my gosh. For the chameleon. That's gonna be really cool. <laughs> it's just gonna, it's gonna be one hot chameleon. Mm-hmm. Have the fun part. Yeah, I know. Oh, cute. This is my workspace. I like it. So we just got to my workspace. I'm really excited about this project. It's going to be kind of crazy, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, so we're thinking this octopus, a leopard, a chameleon. What we else? Could do, we could do a little person. Okay. So you do realize that I don't know how to sew, right? Oh, now what? I thought like that I can, Jenny taught I can, you. I can sew like a straight line. That's okay. I'll teach you. We're going to we're gonna get this. I can learn? Okay. Because yeah, if I, I can learn, that. then anyone can learn. The actual sewing part was easier than I thought. Getting everything ready was a little... It was just time consuming, you know, like cutting all of the clothes apart and figuring out which materials are going to go with what and what accessories to put on and... It just always takes longer than you think it's going to take. And we got so much stuff. So we had a lot of stuff to look through. These are going to turn out so adorable. I know. They're so cute. The kids are going to love them. I think the puppets turned out really adorable. I wish I could see the looks on these kids' faces when they see them at the carnival. But at least I got to see the puppets and a little bit of love from me came to them. So we are at the Imagination Learning Center, which is located at the MERS Goodwill headquarters. And I'm waiting to meet the puppeteers and show them the puppets. Mike? Yep. Hi, Susanna. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Person. Reagan. Oh my gosh, look at you. So Susanna called us and she wanted to know if we were interested in doing a puppet show, which obviously always we are. Any puppets, anytime. So everything is made from stuff that we got at Goodwill. Yeah, I know, which is crazy. awesome. So like the socks, this is from a little onesie. These are from some shorts. This is so cute. That's from, I think, some jewelry. And then this little girl. Oh my. We were thinking it could be kind of fun to have her, like this is the main character, mm -hmm. and she maybe like goes on an adventure and meets these animals oh, along the way. 
This is a chameleon. That's like a bikini top under there. Mm -hmm. And this oh. is like a handkerchief. Okay, I see. Scaly chameleon or um, camo shorts. Oh, this is a little dinosaur. So those are like purple jeans. Oh, Isn't that gosh. cool? That's amazing. I know. And then last but not least, this is a little like leopard lion cheetah cat. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Right? Puppets are usually really expensive, especially if you get them custom made and stuff like that. Um, I, it's, it's neat that they were able to make puppets for really cheap. I'm amazed, honestly. Well, yeah. no, we're going to have to steal that. We're going to have to do that now. <laughs> I'm excited about it. All right, well, I'm going to go chat with Lauren. She's the director of the Imagination Learning okay. Center. Okay. Um, I'll just leave you guys with the puppets, and we'll see you a little bit later. Okay, right, bye. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm Susanna. How are you? You must be Lauren. Yep. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm so excited. I know. So this is the daycare. Yep, this is it. Learn the Learning Center. Imagination Learning Center was established in 2001. We're, we're funded by MERS Goodwill, so our goal is to pr provide quality child care and education. We also really try to promote um, an environment that fosters parent involvement and engagement. We have um, several activities throughout the year that we invite parents to. We reached our goal of 100 points, and so um, they've earned a carnival. Hey, everybody. My name is Penny. Can you guys say hi, Penny? Hi, Penny. I am Leah and the Chameleon. Hi, Leon. I am the Soctopus. <laughs> All right. But before we go, let's dance. But the da 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 da. Bye, everybody. So the puppet show just finished up, and it was so much better than I imagined. The kids loved it. I loved it. I mean, I was, like, laughing right along with all the kids. The three little kids that were sitting around me, like, kept looking over at me and laughing and clapping. And one little kid told me I was his best friend. So <laughs> they were adorable. I'm a single parent of three. When um, I had Naima, the four-year-old, I went and looked at a lot of daycares, a whole lot of daycares, and left crying. And when I came here, I just fell in love with them. My son loves the daycare. He absolutely loves it. He'll run in and give everybody hugs in the morning, and it's kind of like a mini cheers, all walk in and hi, whoever, as each kid comes in. So it's just, it's a really community spirit here. He absolutely loves it. It feels like family. It feels like a second home for a lot of the um, children and their parents. The daycare itself has meant security, um, that I can go to work because I'm a single mom. It is just my son and I. Knowing that he's cared for, knowing that I can provide for him, I can't really even put it into words. We're always here. We're always open because we not only work for the child, but we're really a service for the entire family.